Hallelujah. No, no weapon that has formed against you prosper. <laughs> yeah, oh, thank you. I love this word. Keep this word in your mind always. I, I, I afraid to you to forget this word. I just told you. I thought I gonna say again in NIV Bible. Before is King James one. No weapon forged. Forged against you will prevail, and you will refute every tongue, every speaking that curses you. Every accusation that accuse you. No? No, 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 no. <laughs> That's God's word. God is speaking to you through my mouth. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you. Lift the hand, my brother and sister. Oh, give me glory. Thank you, Lord. The, the today, the day God has made, the today, the moment, your time, your moment, your season that just you have received the word of God as your rhema. This word I speak, I spoken to you just before, just for you, holding, keeping this word. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, thank you, Lord. No weapon. There is, brother and sister, hear me. There is no weapon that hurts you or uh, attack you, uh, messed up you. There is no existence of evil thing that going to kill you. As long as you believe in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, thank you, Lord. No weapon, including financial chaos. You know, financial problem you may have, but uh, the sickness, you've been sick. Some may have cancer. Hmm? My wife cancer now. I pray, pray for my wife. God heal me. I, I, I tell you later, this testimony. All right, so I believe this word. No cancer hurts my wife. She's been illness. Also you that may have disease. Anything. Terror, you know, that is happening every day in the world. Can not access to you. Huh? Oh, my, my Lord, hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Oh, do you <laughs> do? New Year 2017 is coming. So most people renew their determination. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that in the new year. I'm going to start a new plan, which I didn't do before. 
It's a, oh, I want to make a, something I want to do. I want to be like uh, somebody who I follow. Yeah. Everyone, everyone wants to make a resolution in New Year. However, that, however, <laughs> as time goes on, uh, they encounter the problem they don't want, then they see, they, they they, they are taking the difficulty problem and they are lazy, they, are, they forgot the thing, they had made the resolution at the beginning of the new year. They don't care, they, because they forgot and ignored the, those things they had made a mind in their, themselves. Hmm? At the beginning of the year, I used to do that. <laughs> At the beginning of the year, although they had the form, determination, they made up their determination collapse. Collapse. Bye bye. A few days later. Hmm? You know what I'm talking about. Why, why can we not keep the resolution that we made at the beginning of the, the, the year? I want to tell you, I think you maybe agree with what I'm saying. The reason is that humankind is not strong enough to do it. We are. We are not strong. We are human. We are human being. God created like that. Huh? You understand what I'm saying? I, I want you to understand. I want you, I want you to hear the, what I'm speaking now. Hmm? Amen. Amen. It is very hard for us to accomplish the plans and the dreams in time, in time, by ourselves that we made. I don't know what you be made resolution every year. That is why we need help from the Holy Spirit. That is the point I'm going to preach this message today. That's why we need the Holy Spirit. Hmm? That Jesus said, you need the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Oh, my, my, hallelujah, pray the Lord, amen. You know, when we follow the guidance of the Holy Spirit and believe in Jesus and being filled with the Holy Spirit, God's wonderful grace and blessing will best on us. Hmm? You know, it is absolutely true. What Bible said, the Romans 10, 13, anyone who called his name will be saved. And the Romans 10, chapter 10, and it is with the heart you believe you are justified. And it is with your mind that you confess. Uh, it is with your mouth. Not, 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 not. It is your mouth. 
you confess that you will be saved. Hmm? However, yes, we we need Holy Spirit. Huh? Even though we believe in Jesus Christ, absolutely we need the Holy Spirit to overcome the simple world, to, to make and maintain us a victorious life when we live in this world. Hmm? Oh, hallelujah. You know, Bible say, all the servants of God in the Bible perform the great work of the God by being filled with the Holy Spirit. Bible testified what they had. what they had been doing. Yes. We see the Bible. All the person of the faith to, to the believe in Jesus Christ. We can see the Hebrew chapter 11. The chapter of the faith. Hmm? All the testament says God only, you know, anointed the chosen people like a king, priest, and prophet. Only three persons were uh, anointed by the feet of God. But now, these days, everyone, everyone, I don't care the eh, in a high the low. The, I don't care eh, in, in the rich man, the poor man. Anyone who the believe Jesus Christ and confess that he is my savior, Holy Spirit will come to them and the anointing of the power of the Holy Spirit upon to them. Yes. Yes. That's why I'm speaking now. Hallelujah. You know, Jesus once again commanded his disciples to wait for the Holy Spirit. Acts 1, chapter 4 through to 5, Jesus was telling them, Listen, not to leave Jerusalem. Wait, wait for baptism of Holy Spirit. Baptism of Holy You, you gotta wait in Jerusalem until Holy Spirit came. You know the story. Huh? Which God promised. Eh? Bible says, uh, Gospel John 14, 16, Jesus said, I will ask my Father in heaven. He will send the Holy Spirit and he will live forever. Forever. Not Short time, not the certain time, no. Forever. Hmm? Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, amen. Amen. Pray the Lord. Amen. Give him glory. He's so wonderful, so good. Huh? Disciples stayed in Jerusalem while Praying for the fullness of the Holy Spirit. What kind of a place was Jerusalem? 
It was a place where the temple of God was. Jerusalem was also the place where Jesus, your God, was crucified. Um, huh? We should never leave the cross of Jesus. We should never leave the place of the worship where you are doing now. Wherever you are worship to the Lord, that's matter. Hmm? Jerusalem represents the spiritual nest of our faith that you have. Hallelujah. Oh, my, 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 my. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Holy Spirit touch you. Holy Spirit touch you. Oh, come on the edge of rain, edge of fire, edge of war. Holy Spirit pour out to you. Hallelujah. Oh, you are the blessed man. Hallelujah. Thank you by the Holy Spirit because you are the children of the God, holy. You never failed because you, God promised everything by the Holy Spirit. All thing is finished. He just says on the cross, it is finished. Just believe me, hallelujah. Oh, pray the Lord. Amen. Nothing worry about. Nothing worry about. Where is the nest of faith today? It is the church where you are attending now. It is your nest. You know, nest, bird came, bird house. Where is your nest? Your church where you are now, where, where you are attending now. Hmm? No matter what happened while you live in this earth, <laughs> you you should never leave this church. This, this is church too. This station. Internet network. This church. We are, we are worshiping now. You and me. I don't know. This, the member of this church, a lot of people on the, over the world. Mm, you know. But God is looking for your heart, not God is looking at for number. Number it doesn't matter. Oh, hallelujah. You should never leave place of the worship. Praise and pray to the Lord with all your might throughout our lives. When we worship the Lord with all our heart, your, your will be received the grace of the God. Yes, Holy Spirit came to the disciples like wind, like the fire, like the water. This time we also need the Holy Spirit today. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, pray the Lord. Hallelujah. Pray the Holy Spirit. So, you know, the church, the, the Holy Spirit doesn't work among the, the people. Cannot be growing. Hmm? The Paul came to Ephesus Church. The, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? They said, even we don't have hold, the there is a Holy Spirit. We just the baptism of the world. So the, the, the Paul, the lay hands of the people, who doesn't know, doesn't, didn't receive the Holy Spirit, 
speaking tongue, the Holy Spirit came on all of them. Bible said, oh, hallelujah, pray though. Why did not contemporary church grow? It is because they do not recognize the welcome and accept or are filled with the Holy Spirit. They don't welcome the Holy Spirit. They don't interact with the Holy Spirit. That church cannot grow. All the growing church today, you see, in every world. Filled with the Holy Spirit. Listen, my friend. The, the Holy Spirit at the center of your ministry, center of your faith, you are, you are focused on this Holy Spirit. And you are longing for the fullness of the Holy Spirit in every day. Your faith will grow splendidly. The revival cannot be done by our own power. No, no. You gotta believe. But when the Holy Spirit comes, everything you are doing will prosper because God promised, God guaranteed, Holy Spirit your friend, your partner, your senior partner. Yes, Holy Spirit is working with you. Everything is okay. Bible, Bible guarantee. God promised. Yes, but God guarantee you. Working with the Holy Spirit by faith, not by sight. Hallelujah. You will be prosper. Chronicle 2020 said, Believe in God, you will be prosper. Yes, you will be okay. Trust in the Lord. Everything is all right. Thank you, Lord. Yes, that's, 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 I love you. God loves you. Bye-bye.